Mary, a community that raised more than 75,000 to help a father fight to stay with his family here in the U.S. is celebrating, celebrating their first legal victory. Syed Jamal's Lawrence neighbors are thankful a judge allowed his release from the Platte County Jail. KCTV5's Emily Rittman has more from Jamal's welcome home party. Tonight was a night for celebration in Lawrence. Jamal's supporters all gathered in this house to celebrate the fact that he was back in their community and back with his family. Syed Jamal was the guest of honor as the neighbors who fought for him celebrated his return. Great, great. Welcome home. After ICE officials arrested the beloved chemist from his front yard on January 24th, his neighbors rallied around him and his family. Three moms got together one night and we set up the change.org account and set up um, the GoFundMe account. They gathered more than 108 thousand petition signatures and gained support from lawmakers they flooded with phone calls and emails. It's also been amazing to see how a community can come together. You know, and our Lawrence community cares a lot about this family. And so tonight's a night to, you know, be happy that that today is good, that there's some good in the world today. <laughs> I have this Humongous debt of gratitude to this community, yeah. It would be difficult to repay. Surrounded by supporters, Jamal reflected on why so many joined his fight to remain in the U.S. Am I just lucky? <laughs> I, I, I think maybe deep down in my heart, they know that I, I really love and, and care about people. Even though Jamal's future is unclear as his case moves through the legal system, his supporters are ready to keep fighting. And so to Syed and his lovely wife Angela and these beautiful kids and to all of you for doing this, thank you. Thank you. Jamal's attorney says there is no exact timeline on when a decision could be announced in his case. Reporting from Lawrence, Emily Rittman, KCTV 5 News. And a private bill introduced by Congresswoman Lynn Jenkins is in a committee right now, but if it passes, it could allow Jamal and his wife to apply for a visa to permanently live here in the U.S.